So I'm standing here today with the author of this book, Z Journey Journal, Tom Shaper, who many people in Cleveland will know as a musician, now going in his sixth documented decade, as we've discussed earlier. And Rooney. Rooney is one of my dog walking clients. One of my, he was my very first walk and he's he's my snuggle bunny he's 19 years old and trooping on so tell us about this book tom how how had this come to be about three months before the pandemic landed in the states as some people call it a friend of mine peter bonta who you might know from the band artful dodger and mary chapin carpenter as well called me up from italy and said tom you're going to get hit with something that you've never seen. And started telling me about the coronavirus and what it was. And I realized this is going to be different than anything I've ever seen. I didn't know exactly what it was going to be, but I started documenting what was going on. And I was at a point in my life where I was dealing with a recovery from a hand paralysis, which is the death sentence in some ways to a musician. And all of a sudden, I'm watching venues that I love get closed down for the pandemic, seeing friends out of work, seeing everything change. But at the same time, my life's going really, really well on the individual level because my hand's coming around and I'm watching this country fight itself. Right, <laughs> that's right. Okay, you're going down, man. You win. I w Seeing this country going down. Seeing the country lose its way, lose its moral compass, watch a leader who uh, allegedly might be named Pi in my <laughs> book, uh, de deal or not deal with some very serious things. And I'm seeing this on a microscopic level and macroscopic level, trying to deal with it with a sense of humor because it gives you stamina to deal with the fact that we're in trouble. And my book kind of walks the line between how beautiful a world we have, how we take it for granted, how we're dealing and not dealing with climate change, how we're dealing with people who disregard the Constitution or not dealing with it, deciding what is proper etiquette when somebody's sitting there telling you things that aren't true and passing them off as true, T evaluating friendships and saying, is it worth saving this one or trying? A, a lot of serious stuff. But again, you have to deal with it. You have to take care of your body. You have to take care of your friends. You have to take care of your family. You have to take care of your dogs. And it kind of lets me know how valuable our park, metro parks are, how valuable sitting down having coffee with a friend is, love for a family, music, but how quickly things can change. And my book is trying to be what I call realistic some people might say cynical, but I don't look at it that way. I think if you have some great friends, you should realize how lucky that is, that mankind might not be as nice and loving as I had hoped he'd, it would be, but you, there are certain plenty of great people in this world, plenty of great things to do, and you gotta find them. It takes work, and I found I like writing, and I'm able to say things in my book that I have imaginary conversations with people, and it's a good place to document them. Thanks, Ken. I think that's what I wanted to say. Cool. Well, okay. I was going to add in, this is not the first creative endeavor that I've been aware of. You invented a musical instrument. I did invent... Ken, I'm in the Library of Congress for three things, and I think there are just about only three things you can be in there for. I have written books, I have a patent on a musical instrument, and I have albums and things and i'm proud to say i've lost money on every one of them <laughs> but that's the way life is and i'm still happy and, and proud of all three it's a sitar is it was it or? it's a combination of guitar and drums called the jasper bridge named after my dog former dog it's still my dog in the metaphysical Spirit. world yeah, yeah. and he helped me invent it i played it for the first time in a while about a month ago and it's still a really fun thing cool that uh, I had lost my passion for playing it when Rob Williams passed away.
he and I had a duet. And you also took pictures of me and Seth, who was the other person that I played it with. That you lost as and well. And those are friendships that I treasure. I knew how good they were when I had it, but I sure miss them. And I'm playing on in, in their spirit as well. So I know this is this book's available at Amazon. Where, where else? Fireside Books. It, it's available. That's it, in Chagrin Falls. Yes. The Coventry for Max Bex. It, it's also at Max Bex in Coventry. Coventry. Yeah, good. And those are the places to get it. So, are you doing any book signings or anything? Or? I, I will be doing a book signing. I will announce that at a later date, and you will be the first person I tell Ken. Cool. We'll we'll share we'll share the, this wonderful interview then, and and. Uh, Hopefully get some people on, on the Tom Shaper book wagon. Wonderful. And so, folks, it's Z Journey Journal. And look at the cool way it's written. So, I think this guy grew up in the 60s and 70s. That's my guess. That, that, that's a Ricky Lewin <laughs> creation on the, on the front cover. And Ricky will be doing an art show in Chagrin Falls later this month. So, look out for that. Cool. Very cool. Well, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Ken.